Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for war? What's going on guys? Confire Nate here to talk about this week's episode of Walking Dead. By far, it was really good. And I was really happy for it because it felt like it it was the payoff for several episodes that a lot of people didn't really care for because there's been a lot of episodes this season which are kind of you know, character building and story building and no one really cared. They wanted action. They wanted the war. Well, this episode by far was one of the most pivotal in making that happen. We're going to talk about that right now. Now, going back even as far as last season, something that has been frustrating fans. I know it's been frustrating me, but Carol and Morgan, their whole like, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, Carol obviously doesn't have a problem killing, but when she does it, she feels like she's losing her soul and that if she has to do it anymore, there's nothing going to be left of her. Morgan, on the other hand, went crazy and found peace in the fact that he doesn't have to kill. So you have two people who both refuse to kill and don't have any motivation to do it. No motivation to, they just want to go somewhere and live in peace. Now this was frustrating from the beginning. We saw this throughout the entire season. You know, just, oh, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. But slowly, but surely, we were introduced to the kingdom. We were introduced to all these characters you start to see how, you know, Morgan was starting to really kind of have this bond with Benjamin. All these things started to happen. And it was all setting up for what took place in this week's episode. Now let's start by talking about Morgan. We've seen Morgan. We saw who he was. Dude was way out there. Crazy, killing people. Just didn't even know. Clear, clear, just killing stuff. Okay? He found some peace. But too far. Too far to the point where I'm not going to harm people even if I know they deserve it. And in this world, sometimes you have to kill people. You have to kill people that deserve it. Well, unfortunately, because of, again, Morgan not choosing to fight, someone else had to pay the price. And in this case, it wound up being Benjamin. Now, I'm glad that they didn't do a whole, like, you know, just this awful death for, for Benjamin because it was a kind of a nice little character you kind of started to like but he died because he bled out and in this world that's probably a better way to go than a lot of the alternatives you know by getting your face bit off or anything else that could have possibly happen but once Morgan realized what had happened why Richard had done what he had done and in that moment when they were standing there and he almost kind of, it's almost like you saw it in his eyes that he thought that maybe Richard wasn't going to say anything. But Richard wanted his death to mean something. So Morgan made his death mean something. He killed him in front of the saviors to prove to the saviors that they're still loyal for the time being until they can do exactly what Richard wanted to do, which was strike at him, but wait. And Morgan did it. He made his death count and, and Richard... I think he was glad to give up his life. This guy was, he was done. He didn't, he, he had everything and he was done. He was done with it. He was ready to go and be with his family. And Morgan made that happen. And then you could see it in Morgan's eyes. Morgan didn't even care. When he was standing there and he was going through and he was just bah, killing them zombies, man, I was getting excited. I was super excited. Man, Morgan is back. And then he talked to Carol and you could almost see it like he was like, I'm going. I'm going out there. I love what he said. I'm going to go kill every one of them. That's the Morgan we need. That's the Morgan we need from war. And I love the final scene. He's there, and he's taking that staff, and he's turning it into a spear. Yes, finally, we got a bad butt Morgan back. Now for Carol. Carol, again, she wasn't wanting to kill because she felt like she was losing herself. But she's a smart girl. And she started to figure out, something's not right here. Why were all these people here? And now they're not. What, what Daryl had told her, it didn't add up. None of this added up. And she went to Morgan and Morgan said, I'll take you, but I'm not going to tell you. Again, Morgan's in his, oh, I'm here, but I'm not actually going to get involved kind of mentality at the moment. So Carol doesn't know. Then when the kid, it was, it was one of those kind of moments when Benjamin asked her, he's like, hey, I can come back with you. I'd like to learn. I can skip this run. She just t told him no, which ultimately was kind of contributed to his death in her own way. If she would have let him come with her, he wouldn't have been on that. He wouldn't have got shot. So when they came to her house, I thought that was really important because she saw everything that took place. And I think she started to get it. That was the moment when she started to realize in her head. And then when Morgan finally went crazy and finally told her, 
the look on her face, the look like, I can't protect these people, I can't kill for them, but the fact that I haven't, now people I care about are dead. More, I mean, you got Glenn, you know, someone who's been around since the beginning, like her, is dead. Abraham is dead. And Carol's got to feel that weight. So now, what is it time for? Carol goes, she tells Morgan, you stay here and you get yourself straight. I'm going back to the kingdom and I'm getting ready for war. And she talks to Ezekiel, which is what this has all been about. It's all been about getting the kingdom involved because they are the key piece in the fight against Negan. Well, now it's done. King Ezekiel is obviously angry, and that's what we needed. We needed the kingdom involved. But something I'm wondering, and something I want to ask you guys, what do you think is going to happen to Morgan and Carol? Now they're in full-blown rage mode and, and fight mode. What's going to happen to them? I mean, are they... Is Morgan going to lose himself in this? Is Carol going to ultimately, you know, lose her soul? Or are they able? Are they going to be able to find some happy medium like everyone else? Daryl looks seems fine. Rick seems fine. Michonne seems fine. There's ways to be able to be one way and the other at the same time, and they're unable to figure it out. Will they figure it out? Will they be able to survive? That's my question. I want you guys to let me know what you think. But until next time. We'll see you later.